It's time for a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotsi Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. Now, Dr. Stephen Hotsi. Dr. Hotsi's Wellness Revolution podcast is brought to you by Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsi Pharmacy. Welcome to Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotsey, founder of the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center. And if you haven't already done so, you can always download our podcasts at hotseypodcast.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E podcast.com. All right. So Dr. Hotsey always likes to bring to you experts, success stories, and also actually books, you know, books that have made an impact that we consider to be game changers. And he's very excited to share with you the latest book that he's been looking into called Upstream by Dan Heath. Dr. Hotsey. Thanks so much, Stacey, and thank you for joining us. You know, I believe that you and everybody needs to have a doctor and a staff of professionals who can coach you on the path of health and wellness naturally without pharmaceutical drugs. So as you mature, you've got energy, you've got vitality, and you've got enthusiasm for life. Wouldn't you like to feel that way? Well, you can. And that's what we do here at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center. Today, I want to talk to you about a topic which just fits like a hand into a perfectly fitting glove uh, in explaining what we do here at the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center. The book is called Upstream by Dan Heath. It's a good read. He's also got a great video on it uh, about the concept of upstream. So what are we talking about? How, how can being upstream make a difference? What's the opposite of upstream? Downstream? Downstream. Do you want to be upstream or downstream? You know, a lot of people like to go downstream with the current. It's a whole lot easier, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just get in the water and flow. Go with, go with the flow. Go with the flow. Guess what? 80% of the people go with the flow. Probably more than that. They say they're 2% of the people that make things happen. They're 8% of the people that know what happened. And then the rest of the population says... What happened? And that's where we're in our society right now. It's kind of like the ding, 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 twilight zone. Remember the mm -hmm. twilight zone back in the 60s? Rod, what was his name? Sterling. Lesson? Rod Sterling. And Everyone the, knows the tune. And the twilight zone. Mm -hmm. do, 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 mm -hmm. do, 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 Well, we're kind of living in a twilight zone now. But people have been living in twilight zones, most people, all their lives. And let me explain what that means. Let me give you an example of that. Imagine the story of two fishermen downstream. They got their fly rods out and they're fishing for trout, and all of a sudden they see a child caught in the caught in the stream. And they go, oh, my gosh, that child's out there drowning, doesn't have a life preserver on. They run out and they snatch up that child. You know, he runs back up the hill, and a few minutes later another child comes over, and then another child, and then they're having to fish these children out of the out of the out of the uh, water, out of the current, and you know they're panicked about this. My gosh, what is going on? And then all of a sudden, one of the guys bolts out of the water, and his friend goes, "Where are you going?" He said, "I'm going uphill. There's somebody uphill. I see throwing these children into the water." He went upstream to correct the problem instead of waiting downstream trying to solve a problem. Be he reactive. Went, in, instead of being reactive. We got to save these drowning kids. He was proactive. We got to stop this man from throwing the children into the water. And that's the way you can look at your health. And you can look at life, your own life. And you can look at our society. I think a lot of people would say our society is living in a twilight zone right now, wouldn't mm -hmm. they? Absolutely. A lot of people are feeling that way. What's going on? What's happening? Why are we doing this? Who's telling us? What do they want us to do now? Okay, we'll do whatever they say. Whatever we can do to cause ourselves to feel safety when we feel fearful, we'll do, no matter what they do, as, as absurd as it may seem. Masquerading around town, alone in a car. Masquerading, spelled M-A-S-K-U-E-R-I-D-I-N-G. Masquerading, running in a park with a mask on. Everywhere you go, you wear a mask. I think there are people, literally, I've heard this, that sleep with their spouse with a mask on. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> I mean, 
there are people that are that yeah. much in the do 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 do. So a lot of people have been scared and fearful. Well, what could you do about that? What do you? Why do people wear a mask? Which, by the way, has little or no effect positively whatsoever. It has a bunch of adverse effects like decreased oxygen in the blood and increased carbon dioxide, both of which depress the immune system, the rebreathing of all the viruses and bacteria that you have in your mouth and in your sinuses. Billions and trillions of bacteria in your sinuses and all throughout your uh, oropharynx. Why aren't you sick? Why don't you have a sore throat? Why don't you have why don't you have a sinus infection? Because you got an immune system for crying out loud. Your immune system fighting these things off, keep them at bay. Living with them in a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, we're covered with bacteria and bacteria and viruses are all over the place. Everywhere you go, on top of this countertop, on your jacket, was- from my head to the from my the top of my head to the tip of my toes, I'm covered with staph epidermis. So are you. Everybody is. There are only about a trillion staph epidermis all over your body. That's a staphylococcal infection. It's not an infection, though, because our body has learned to live with it in a symbiotic rea- relationship. You can't wash it off with soap and water. You're covered up with viruses and bacteria, and you think putting a mask on is going to make any difference? Those viruses and those bacteria go right through the pores. They're smaller than the pores and around the mask. And then you take your mask off, stick it in your pocket day in and day out, put it in the glove compartment, leave it on top of the dashboard. <laughs> And, we're gonna, and it's filthy. The mask is filthy. If we cultured the mask, you'd be shocked at all the viruses and bacteria that could be discovered on your mask. And you're breathing it in and out. So that's being reactive. Being proactive would be, hey, why don't I get my immune system healthy so I don't have to worry about it? Keep it healthy if you're healthy. That's what Trump did. Well, you said, well, he got the COVID virus. Yeah, look how the guy bounced back. He's 75 years old. Hey, two days he had a fever. They hospitalized him just precautionarily. He worked in the hospital. He got out and had a big rally a week later Mm -hmm. with tens of thousands. He never looked like he was really sick to begin with. He just (laughs) didn't. You know, Mm -hmm. he'd been taking vitamin D3. He'd been taking zinc. He'd been taking other vitamins and minerals. And I think he'd been taking hydroxychloroquine, too, according to to all all his statements earlier. And he did fine. If he can do fine, you're going to do fine. But they were talking like he was going to die. Oh, my goodness. When He's got COVID. He's going to die. What about the succession plans for the presidency? Because he didn't wear a mask and Pence is going to get it and everybody's going to get sick and die in the White House. Oh, my gosh. Nancy Pelosi will be president. That's the most wonderful thing we could ever imagine. That's what they said on mainstream media. But Trump bounced back. They ought to be saying, you know what? Maybe the old guy has something, <laughs> something to say after all about these vitamins and minerals. Maybe he's right. Maybe... A healthy immune system is not a right-wing conspiracy Mm-mm. theory. <laughs> God gave us the immune system. There are books written about the immune system and what you can do to keep it healthy. That's what you call being proactive or working upstream to prevent the problem instead of downstream. You know, a ton of folks quarantined themselves, and they got the 19-pound the, uh, from the quarantine, 19 from quarantine. They gained about 20 pounds. Sitting home, mm-hmm. eating ice cream, eating all kinds of cookies and stress. Cakes. Had all the stress, and they were comforting. They ate comfort food, mm-hmm. and they got got overweight. When you get overweight, then your blood pressure goes up, and you get pre-diabetic or diabetes, and so all these health problems were caused because people wanted to put a mask on and not be around other people. But they there are a whole host of other diseases that cause death besides uh, respiratory viruses. That is one of the least causes of death. Big cause of death is heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, strokes, heart, uh, I mentioned heart disease. Mm -hmm. Driving down the road, driving down the road, you could get in a wreck. 30,000 people die every year in auto accidents and millions are injured and hospitalized. Why don't we quit driving? If we quit doing that, people would live. Let's just start walking. Let's go back to horse and carriage. Why don't we get a bicycle? Why don't we save lives? You can see how absurd this whole concept is, and the whole concept is be reactive, be scared. Oh, we've got a solution. It's a vaccine coming down the pike from Bill Gates and that bunch. Vaccinate everybody in the world with this vaccine that contains fetal parts in it. Oh, fetal cells. Oh, yeah, do that. Somebody's going to make trillions of dollars off that. And you just go back and look at the records. Bill Gates has got 
investments from his private foundation in all these in the companies that are making these vaccines. He'll gain a lot from it. And the lobbyists will gain a lot from it. And they'll mandate it and tell you you have to have it. Well, why don't you just have a healthy immune system like I have for the last 44 years of treating people with bacterial and viral pneumonia, viral and bacterial meningitis, viral and bacterial dysentery, staph, staph, sorry, staph infections all over their body, boils, strep infections, pseudomonas, tuberculosis. I never wore a mask a day in my life in medicine, in the emergency room or otherwise. The only time I wore a mask was in the surgery. So see there, you wear a mask in the surgery. The reason you do that is so when you talk, everybody, when you talk, droplets come out, and you've got a wound that you opened up somebody's belly. You don't want to be spitting in the womb. Anyway, at surgery, it always gets washed out and lavaged with copious amounts of saline to get out bacteria. But that's the reason surgeons wear a mask is they do it to prevent them from spitting and talking when you talk, having the droplets come out and landing in the wound and causing an infection. So don't be reactive, be proactive. Think upstream. What can I do to be healthy? Many of you right now are fatigued, you're overweight, you can't lose weight no matter what you do. If you exercise or eat right, you're still not losing weight. You got cold hands, you got cold feet. You're not thinking clearly. Your moods are not good. Maybe you got alternating moods. You're up one day and down another. You're anxious. You're depressed. You're panicked. You don't sleep well. Your joint and muscles ache and hurt. Or you may have improper bowel function. You may get recurrent and chronic infections. Your hair may be falling out if you're a woman. You're puffy. You're pale. You just feel horrible. You got one summer, all of these symptoms, which are classical features of hypothyroidism. Go to your doctor and see what they're going to give you. Antidepressants, anti-anxiety medication, sleep medication, until your blood works normal. But you can say, doctor, I'm not normal, and I know I'm not sick because I have low levels of pharmaceutical drugs in my body. God has given your body an amazing restorative power to heal itself if you'll put the right molecules in your body. First, you start with what? A good eating plan. You got to start with the basics. Cut the carbs out. Minimize them. Cut them out. Go on a yeast free keto eating program. Eat eggs. Have butter. Have avocados, guacamole. Hey, why don't you have some coconut oil, olive oil, and fish oil? Take that. How about some nice nuts? How about hard cheeses? All these are good fats that you can put in your body. They don't have any sugar in them. Sugar. We eat all these simple carbohydrates like pizza, pots of cookies, cakes, donuts, and all that. Sugar levels go up because all that carb gets converted to sugar, and then they fall, and you're hungry. Up and down, you have sugar highs, and you have sugar lows. And it depresses the immune system, and it creates inflammation in the body, correct? Absolutely. Both. Inflammation in the body, and it depresses the immune system when you have high sugar levels. And sugar gets converted to what? Fat. To fat. So if you look in a mirror and you're overweight, you're eating too many carbs. Cut your carbs. Eat the good, healthy oils and fats. Eat good, fresh vegetables, good, fresh salad. I have a salad every night. Every night, it's got chopped spinach, chopped broccoli, chopped pecans, and I put one or two or three raspberries on top of it. I use olive oil and balsamic vinegar every day. Every day. I've done this year in, day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out, year in and year out for literally a decade or longer. That's the way I eat, probably 20 years, I guess. I can't remember not eating this way. And I maintain a healthy body weight. I'm 10, we 10 pounds above my playing weight in high school. Yeah, I could probably lose another 10 pounds, but I weigh, under, I weigh 179 this morning, mm -hmm. dripping wet with sweat. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm happy to do that because that's, that's a more ideal body weight for me. And that's what you can do. Take charge of your eating first. Get your hormones replenished, thyroid, your female hormones, your male hormones. Get them replenished. Fill up the bucket. As you get older, all your hormone levels go down. Fill the bucket back up so you, those hormones can help your cells produce the electrical energy that drives your systems and all the biochemical processes in your body. If you're a low-voltage individual, guess what? You're going to be sluggish. You're not going to feel well. You're going to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's where you're going to be. And I've heard that from so many people. Doctor, I'm just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You ever felt that way? You don't have to. You can take charge of your health. Doing that, you're operating upstream. 
You're taking care of the problem before it starts, or you're solving the problem at its root cause rather than trying to treat it mm-hmm. with pharmaceutical drugs to mask your symptoms. And you get a whole bunch of other side effects from those for which they put you on a whole bunch of more pharmaceutical drugs. The goal of the pharmaceutical and health industry today in conventional medicine, you're the cash cow. Keep them sick. Keep them on our drugs every day the rest of their life. It'll make us a fortune. And it does. The richest companies in the world are the pharmaceutical companies. And did you know Americans take 45% of all the pharmaceutical drugs in the whole world? We only make up about 5% of the population. And we're not the healthiest by any means, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. So you want to think upstream. What can I do to protect myself rather than what can I do to solve my health problems after they occur? When should you get started on your health journey? Now. Now. Now today. is the best time. You've got to do it today. Oh, you're going to wait. Uh, next, I'll wait till next. Oh, then I'll wait till, yeah, then I'll, oh, I'll wait till after Thanksgiving. Oh, then I'll, I'll wait till after Christmas. I'll wait till after New Year. And there's always a reason to make excuses. But I want to encourage you to take charge of your health today. Act upstream. Yeah, you'll be swimming against the current when you go upstream, but get upstream. That's the way you can prevent problems from occurring instead of being downstream where you're reactive and have to solve the problems. That's right. And there's some easy ways that you can start going upstream, and one is to give our office a call. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Send a complimentary copy of Dr. Hootsie's best-selling book to you at absolutely no charge. All you have to do is call 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. You can also go online to Dr. Hootsie's vitamin store, that would be HotzeVitamins.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E Vitamins.com. And there you can find all kinds of products that can also help boost your immune system naturally. And then, of course, we've got Dan Heath's book, Upstream. It is a wonderful read. It is a game changer. You can apply it to all areas of your life. We highly, highly recommend it. So thank you for joining us here today at Dr. Hotze's Wellness, Wellness Revolution. Revolution. And, just, and one more. This is a book. This is my opus book. I've written four books, but Hormones, Health, and Happiness has... We've sold and distributed over 120,000 copies of this in the last 15 years. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of books. It is. But things haven't changed since I wrote this book. The same things that I wrote about, it's all about the causes of illness and, and symptoms as we mature. And it all has to do with hormonal imbalance and replenishing your hormones to get healthy and well and balancing them out. Talks about all our eight-point treatment regimen, treatment of airborne allergies and food allergies, treatment of yeast, treatment with natural thyroid hormone supplementation mm-hmm. supplementation when mm-hmm. indicated, treatment with natural female and male hormones with indicated, support for adrenal fatigue, good vitamin and mineral supplementation for detoxification, mm-hmm. and a good healthy exercise program. These things will put you on a path of health and wellness so you'll have energy and you'll have a healthy immune system. If you've got good energy level, and you got a healthy immune system, my friend, you're going to be a healthy person, and you're going to enjoy your life. Healthy people always have more fun than sick people. Absolutely. So I want to encourage you to follow Stacy's recommendation and give us a call at 281-698-8698. And we'll be glad to have a wellness consultant visit with you and see if we can get you on a path of health and wellness naturally. God bless you, and have a fantastic day. A special thanks to Physicians Preference Pharmacy, formerly Hotsey Pharmacy, proud sponsor of Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution podcast. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's discretion.